Welcome my artist friends. This afternoon we are going to be painting one of the most famous and may I say iconic parts of the Harry Potter saga and that is his snitch. Now for those of you that don't know what a snitch is, it is a part of the Quidditch game. It is like catching the football at a football game and running for a touchdown. If you can catch this snitch, you win the game. And the snitch is just a very small motorized ball. It's golden in color and it has wings. But usually in the uh, movie itself, the little wings are moving so fast you don't really even see them. So we've slowed the snitch down and I want to be able to help you get an idea of what the snitch looks like. So these are the colors that I have picked out for today. There are some golds and a golden orange, a, an, a reddish sort of brown color, a, another brown, and then there's white and pale blue. Now I have a black sheet of construction paper here and underneath I have a throwaway sheet that helps to hold my paper down flat. Now, I've stated many times before I can't draw a straight line. I also cannot draw a really good circle. So I have some tape here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, place it about, oh, three quarters of the way up on the paper. And then I'm going to trace around the roll of tape. And I have a perfect circle I can see. So you can use a can or a glass or a bowl whatever you can find. Or if you're a really good artist, maybe you can draw a perfectly round circle. All right, let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an orange pastel and I'm going to start on the outside of the circle. And I'm going to draw the snitch itself. Okay, now because this snitch is going to be sort of being still for us, it has some ridges right here. And a ridge at the top. And then not perfectly round circle. There we go. This is the way it looks. Okay, now take your bright gold or yellow and let's draw some shapes that look like C's or sixes. And then we'll go just the opposite way. These are just designs on the outside of the snitch. It was very highly designed and everybody wanted to catch it so they could win the game. And let's see, we'll get some in this part of it. There we go. Now, there are also some colors here. We may have to come back and fill that in. Let's just go over there. All right. Now, very, very lightly very lightly, very, very lightly, 
just barely touching the paper. Let's get the snitch colored very lightly. You see, you still can see the design. All right. Now, we're going to get the wings on. There's one. And then we have another that is the electric part of the snitch. And it's attached here. And then we're going to get the wing in. And it actually has feathers. And you can make them go right off the edge of the page. And you can make bolts and knobs and everything. Now let's see if we can get this end done. And there's got to have the electric part. And let's attach it to a screw there. Okay. And we're going to put some feathers in. Let's put them on this end. And very quickly, you have a snitch. Let's do some highlights here to make it look really golden. And on the outside, you can have a little bit of color. And at the top, And if you like, very lightly, you can put in some white. But it might cover up the designs on the snitch, so be careful. You don't want to do that. Now, I think this looks exactly like what everybody is after. If you want, you can take your blue and put some highlights on the wings here we go and I think you're ready for a game of Quidditch I know that you've done a great job and you can put the designs that you like on your stitch yourself it's a wonderful part of the game and I would love for you to Sign your name here in the corner, and then turn your painting over and name it. You can just call it Harry Potter Snitch or The Snitch and today's date. And then go and show it to your friends and your family. Put it in your room on the wall or on the refrigerator because it's just a wonderful painting. And I know you've done a great job, and everybody will say the same thing. You are an artist.